Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning the Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in the Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into nightmares. You guys with me on that? You got to end somebody's dream. This is Raider's Allegiance with Lunatic Raider. Welcome to the dark side. What is the deal, Raider Nation? Welcome to another episode of the Raiders Allegiance with yours truly, Lunatic Raider, here to discuss the 2020 NFL Draft that just happened today, Thursday. You feel me? We went through, we had picks number 12 and number 19, and I feel that we came out solid. Um, a lot of people didn't really agree with the first pick. It wasn't really controversial as far as the um, ability, athleticism of the wide receiver we chose, which was Henry Ruggs III. So with the 12th pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Henry Ruggs, wide receiver, Alabama. A lot of people wanted C.D. Lamb, which I was one of them because I felt C.D. Lamb could come in and play any of the positions. But I started to notice that C.D. Lamb probably would have fit better in the slot, which we have Renfro at currently that we drafted last year out of Clemson. So what I feel is they went after Ruggs. Ruggs' athleticism as far as his speed, his vertical, which makes him an elite athlete at the wide receiver position. What this also does is him running a 4-2-7-40 at the combine allows him to give us the kind of speed to take the top off of defenses, which also eliminates a lot of teams are stacking the box against Josh Jacobs, which is going to allow Josh Jacobs a lot of running room and a lot of little open holes in the offensive line to shoot through. So as far as... The, the pick goes because, like I said, a lot of people was pushing for CeeDee Lamb. But like I said in my mock draft, we can't really go wrong. All the receivers were good. And also the class itself with the wide receivers is deep. I doubt we're, we go through the rest of the draft and not even get another receiver. They still have Michael Pittman Jr. at USC still available. You still have Claypool out of Notre Dame available. T. Martin is also available out of Clemson. You have receivers out there that can also come in and you can add them to the wide receiver room, which makes us just that much better, giving Carr ample enough uh, weapons to go ahead and just let the ball go. So with that being said, I feel it was a good pick. I understood the pick. So in Mayock, we trust, you know, like we say, we can't doubt what we're trying to do. Mayock and the rest of his team, as far as the scouts go, do their homework on these players and they understand what these players bring to the table. So they know what fits what our scheme is, what John Gruden is trying to do. Also, it adds to the overall production of the offense as well. It's not just can he get 1,000 yards, 1,100, 1,200 yards, but also what else does he bring? What other element does he bring to the offense besides receiving yards? We need touchdowns. We need blocking. This dude is willing to do that. He's also a big target as far as not size. He's six foot, but I'm talking about radius wise. With a 42 inch vertical, that gives him the ability to go up and catch those 50 50 balls. He can do that. He can outrun coverages. He runs his routes good. He can improve, which when he gets to the pros, he has his wide receiver coaches. They're going to coach him up. But you can't coach speed. You can't coach vertical. Those two elements is what he's bringing to make this team better. So he's a threat. He's a number one receiver. Don't get it wrong. And with a healthy Tyrell Williams being another big target that you can go for with some speed to add to this offense, watch out. Waller, Renfro, Josh Jacobs, now we add Ruggs the third. Nice pickup. And we're not done. Like I said, we're not done. We still, we don't have any picks tomorrow in the second round. But the third round, we are carrying three. And we're going to see what kind of willing and dealing that Mayotte brings to get to day two in the 2020 NFL draft. Because we know what's going to go down. He's going to get more picks. He's going to get good players. 
maybe some small school type players that a lot of people overlook. But these guys are out there scouring the country looking for the best talent that can go unseen sometimes and under the radar. So I trust in Mayock. I trust in Gruden's offense. I understand. Now with the second pick in the first round, we grab Damon Arnett. With the 19th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Damon Arnett, defensive back, Ohio State. If you haven't checked out my mock draft that I released um, earlier in the week, I had Damon Arnett going in the third round. We had three third round picks. I had Damon Arnett going 91 overall to the Raiders, which was solid because this guy is overlooked. Comes out of Ohio State. He's about six foot, 195. Solid corner. Four-year player out of Ohio State, like I said. The dude only gave up no more than one touchdown a year as he played for the Buckeyes. He's been overshadowed by Jeff Okuda, which was the first corner taken in the draft this year, with C.J. Henderson going second. And they said after C.J. Henderson, it's a fall-off where anybody could come in there and be selected. We chose Damon Arnett. I researched this dude. I checked his game film. The dude is solid. He plays with a chip on his shoulder. He's very physical. He can cover. He doesn't give up a lot of big plays. Like I said, he was just overshadowed by Akuda, which Akuda is the number one cornerback coming out this year in this class, in this draft this year. So there's no knock on him. It's just the fact that he was overshadowed by a corner who has the possibility of being a Pro Bowl type corner coming into the league next year. So, Damon Arnett, don't sleep on this dude. Go do your research. I see a lot of people on Twitter, oh, I hate this pick. What are the Raiders doing? They know what they're doing. They, they're they not just going to just pick anybody out of thin air that they don't know anything about and just throw them on the roster. They know what they're doing. They know what suits their defense with Gunther. They know this from going over these tapes, studying the game film. You don't just go by the numbers in the combine. You study the game field because the film does not lie. So with that being said, I trust in that pick. I look forward to day two Friday with rounds two and three. Let's see if we will and deal and jump back into the second or we just be patient and let the third round come to us where we can use our three picks, which is 80, 81, and 91 of the third round. So hats off to Gruden and, and Mayock. I believe in what you're doing. You're adding good pieces to what we already possess on this team. Do some research on these picks. Watch their game film. Don't doubt them. Don't knock them if you really don't know anything about them. So with that being said, I'm Lunatic Raider. This is the Raiders Allegiance. And I'm out.